Welcome to this videotape about Boxer, a new computational system being developed at MIT's Lab for Computer Science. One of the major goals behind Boxer is integration, to provide a single uniform system that embodies many typical computer functions. It's a programming environment, but it's designed so that many applications can be created with little or no programming and so that anyone can tailor these applications to their own individual preferences. In fact, we hope that Boxer will help change the meaning of programming, from a difficult activity done by experts to something that people do all the time to personalize the computational tools that they use. This is a Boxer environment called Learn, designed to teach new users about the Boxer programming environment. Learn is arranged as a kind of video book, when we expand the Learn box to look inside, we see boxes dealing with various topics. The shrunken boxes act as a table of contents. If we expand one of them, we can see subtopics. These early chapters of Learn teach the users some of the basic operations we saw earlier. How to move around the boxer screen using the mouse, how to create boxes, and how to name them. Here we have two numbers called A and B, and a formula that computes the square root of A plus B. If we run the command formula, Boxer shows us the value returned. Here A is 4 and B is 5, so the answer is 3. We can change the value of A and B and run the program again. Let's change A to 10 and B to 20. We can make a new box called C and run a command that makes C the result of applying the formula. Notice how C changes automatically as we run the command. A, B, and C here are variables in the Boxer programming language. Variables are always shown concretely as boxes on the screen. To change a variable, we can simply edit what is shown on the screen. And if a program changes the value of a variable, the value on the screen is updated automatically. This treatment of variables is an example of a general underlying principle of Boxer, which we call concreteness. The state of a computational system is what is shown on the screen. This implies that in order to change something, like the value of a variable or the definition of a program, you need only to edit what is shown on the screen without having to run any special kind of update program. This kind of concreteness is typical of many contemporary application programs, such as spreadsheets and database systems, and is a major feature in making such programs easy to use. In the Boxer programming language, concreteness appears throughout all applications in a uniform way. Consequently, a person who wants to implement a spreadsheet or a database program in Boxer will find that much of the task of updating the screen and getting the information will be supplied automatically by the Boxer system. It will not require any additional programming. Here is a fancier version of the calculator that keeps a running histogram of the scores. The histogram is an example of a graphics box, which is a kind of box used for holding pictures. Graphics boxes can be manipulated, shrunken, expanded, and named just like other boxes. Our last example is a boxer-based physics textbook with chapters on mechanics, optics, electromagnetism, and atomic structure. Here is a piece of the optics section of the book that contains a simulator for geometric optics. This part of the simulator contains a graphics box. Shown in the graphics box is a pointer that we can use to position mirrors and lenses. By running some simple commands, we can place a mirror in the box. We'll also add two lenses to make a simple optical system. Now we can shoot some light rays, and the simulator will show their path. Here we see a pencil of rays being reflected by the mirror and bent by the lenses. 
This simulation also contains text which explains the various procedures that you can run and suggests optics experiments for you to perform. Notice that this text was simply typed in using Boxer's text editor. No programming was required to make the book except for the programming in the simulations enclosed.